Let's go! Hey people! Hi everyone! Welcome back, welcome back to our channel. Oppie and Ayo Davis. Yeah, the Dav Davis. Davies. It's actually Davies. Yeah, it's actually Davies, but these Nigerians, they know how to ruin the <laughs> What am I saw? Davies! <laughs> Davies, but it's Davies. Okay, they get the points. Welcome back, guys. Um, we missed you. We did. We actually did. But we are back. We're back with a bang. We are back. Okay? Yeah. So we're going to go straight. Let's not waste too much time. We've yeah. been taking your feedback on board. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your feedback and thanks for your continuous support. Yeah. Um, so today, what do we have? Today, we're going to talk about something very serious. Something. Yeah, so today, we're not going to be laughing or smiling too much because we want to... <laughs> we actually... Stop. We actually want to be serious. Yeah, okay. Be serious. So it's good that we share jokes and we're able to make you laugh. But obviously, mm -hmm. when things are serious, we want to make them as serious as they should be. Mm -hmm. However, we're not really we, we are we are playful. Okay. Yeah. So and that's what comes out in the videos. Okay. So um, it's not like if something is serious and we're laughing, we're not taking it serious. Yeah. Yeah. We just like to laugh. We're just smiley, happy yeah. people. If you follow us on Instagram, we have you a new, we have a new hashtag. What's it? It's smiler. The e smilers. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, follow us on Instagram to see to see some of our photos um, yeah. smiling and stuff. Yeah. So today, um, what are we doing? We're talking about sex. We are talking about sex. Shh, you're not allowed to say the word <laughs> sex. So we are talking about sex, aka praise and worship. Praise and worship, <laughs> aka. The nasty. Love making. Oh, love making, yeah. AKA spiritual amalgamation. Hey, <laughs> spiritual amalgamation. Amalgamation. That's a new one. Spiritual coming together. Come together. We we even had to put Mickey to sleep for this one because you know. Yeah. It's not, it's not it's not her time yet. It's mm -hmm. not her time. So she's Good. sleeping right now. Yeah. Okay. So today we're going to be talking about sex, um, mm -hmm. and it's going to be part of our let's talk about sex series okay because mm -hmm, there's so much there's so much to say we don't want to rush it at all yeah we're just going to be sharing with you some of the things that we have put to practice mm -hmm. and and obviously we are not sex experts <laughs> i just thought i'd put that yes, out there we're not we are, sex experts we are definitely not we okay? just learn from each other you learn from each other okay That's and it is very important okay in fact let's start we've already started we've already started, we've already started. sex is very important and very by the way maybe we should just make it clear while sex is important and while sex is is is, is good or is nice to have um we're referring to sex in marriage yeah. okay premarital sex vlog for another day mm. okay but we're referring to sex in marriage. In marriage. Okay. Please don't go and don't go and get somebody in trouble and tell your pastor that Opi and I just said exactly something. So we never told you that. So <laughs> we're talking about sex in marriage. Sex in marriage, baby. Let's go. So today, what we're gonna do, yeah, is uh, we're just gonna give you some of the key what. Well, Facts and principles. principles. Since that's what we always do, key facts and principles. Key facts and principles Stop about now. sex in marriage, mm -hmm. okay? Just the things to have at the back of your mind. So let's go. First things first, obviously, sex is important. Sex is important. Don't ever try and downplay it. One thing that we were discussing, baby, is that most issues in marriages today is usually because of two things. Yeah. Sex or money. Mm -hmm. And usually it's because people downplay their importance. Yes. You know, maybe one person wants it more than the other or mm -hmm. one person, th th you're just not on the same page. Yes. So it's very difficult that uh, two people are just perfect, mm -hmm. you know, when it comes to sex. And basically, you know, when I say perfect, like that means your all your likes are my likes, all mm -hmm. your dislikes are my dislikes, everything. It's just perfect. Mm -hmm. So it's very hard to find. Okay. Now, as you said, sex is very important. Yeah. Okay. It's very important in marriage. So when you're going into marriage, if you are in marriage, just remember that it is important to my husband. Mm -hmm. It is important to my wife. Okay. And our relationship. And for important our relationship. for the good of our relationship. And you know, one thing I clocked, like sex is the, I think I stand corrected. If you can correct me, it's the only thing in marriage that you have to do together. Like you literally have to do it. You have to work together mm. on it. Like you can 
be on your own, cook by yourself and have yeah. your strength in cooking. You can have yeah. your strength in, you know, doing anything, anything else. Yeah. But sex is the one thing in that your you relationship have to do together. that you have to do together. It's so that, so it's a must. It's a mu must. Okay. Exactly. It's a must. And what that means is, okay, both of you, if, 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 if you're planning to have sex, you know, both of you are on the same page you have that be. you want to do it together mm -hmm. okay so we'll probably elaborate more on these things but mm -hmm. now we're just giving you the high level stuff yeah. okay now another thing is that sex is good hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord sex is good do you understand and i don't i don't understand how sometimes they make it look like sex is a bad thing mm -hmm. you know and i, I so I'm That's sorry to say, but this is also in our churches today. Mm. Nobody wants to talk about sex. And we know this is the most important thing, mm -hmm. I, I beg to say, mm -hmm. in marriage. It is, yeah. It is the most important thing. So people don't want to talk about sex anymore. But no. that is because society has made sex so dirty. Yes, I agreed. It's made sex so dirty, like it's made it such a taboo subject because obviously bible says that sex should be within the marriage within the context of mm -hmm. man and wife society has taken that away from us mm. and says that it should be within the context of not even man and wife anymore within okay man, yeah let's not let's not, let's not go, go there. there let's not so, go there but yeah so, so that's the reason why it's such a taboo subject but it shouldn't be a taboo subject yes it's not a taboo subject okay sex is good okay Definitely. sex is good okay so sex is good. Sex should be enjoyed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So have it at the back of your mind that you know it's to be enjoyed. Mm -hmm. We should not be enduring it. Okay. Um, it should be enjoyed by both parties. Yeah. Okay. So I have it at the back of my mind, and I want to make sure that my wife enjoys sex with mm -hmm. me, and she wants to make sure that what I enjoy sex with her. So sex should be enjoyable. Now you were saying something about. That's why you have to be comfortable in your body. Thank you. You have to be comfortable. Clap for me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, be comfortable with your body. What's the meaning of comfortable with your body? You have to feel good about yourself, isn't it? So, now, in terms of feeling good about yourself, okay, that means you're not ashamed of how you look. Yeah. Okay? Don't be ashamed of how you so, look. So, don't be ashamed of your nakedness. I think that's one thing we can just pinpoint there. Because like it or not, in sex, you can have to be naked. <laughs> Yeah. No, well, some people don't want to be naked. Uh, but in w when you yeah. when you're with your husband, your wife, you have to be naked. Like yes. So you're not shy about your body. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're comfortable with your body. When I'm talking about your body now, body, I'm talking about you know as a woman, you're comfortable with your breast. Yeah. Okay. Whether it's big or small. As a man, some men have to be comfortable with their breasts too. Yes. <laughs> Yes, as a man, you know, you've got man boobs or whatever, you've got six pack, you, or you've got one pack. You're comfortable with your packs, you're comfortable with your body, okay? As a man as well, you know, your penis, mm -hmm. you're comfortable with it. Whether it's... Stop. 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 Whether it's big or small, or average, or yellow or black, you know, whether it's ugly looking, or whatever, whatever the you shape have to be is, comfortable. you're you yourself. You're comfortable with it, okay? But then also, it's not just physical. You have to be comfortable in yourself, like your own self-esteem. I think. Yeah, that's it's, that's part of it now. That's, yeah. So, so it's about confidence as well. Yes. So it's you being confident with your body. You're comfortable with your body. But so, you know what? Your spouse contributes to that yes, as well. Yes. Exactly. Your spouse contributes to that because you. Okay. Let's let's say for instance maybe you have your you have sex with your um husband or your wife and maybe they make a comment about your body thank you you're not going to be free a negative comment by mm -hmm. the way you're not going to be free or you're not going to be as open to you know have to sex them. with them again yeah. yeah so be confident with your body and your spouse would help you mm -hmm. climb that ladder yeah okay definitely. it's not that it, it might not happen on day one of your marriage yeah you know it's not going to happen on day one. But if it's something that I noticed, okay, I can bring it up. Do mm -hmm. you understand? And then make you comfortable. So I always make her comfortable with her body. Do mm -hmm. you understand? And she definitely makes me comfortable with my body. Because mm -hmm. there's some things about my body or some things about my body that I don't really like. That's okay? everyone though. Not, I don't think everyone is, you know, 100%. Well, yeah. So... So, I always talk about it. You know, sometimes I wish I had six-pack. Sometimes I wish I had, you know... <laughs> 
<laughs> I wish I had all these things which I believe are sexy, okay, which I believe looks good, mm -hmm. okay? Anybody that likes you say, a ah, man of God, you know, you're, you're, you're saying rubbish or you're talking too much. But these things are good, okay? Mm -hmm. Some women are not comfortable, they feel, oh, my breasts are too small, I don't want my husband to see my breasts. Yeah. You understand? So, be comfortable be with your body. Be comfortable with your body, definitely. You understand? Let him see your breasts. Yes. Okay? As a guy, be comfortable as well. Let her see everything. Mm -hmm. Once you are married, you are one. That's it. Okay? That's it. So, your body is my body, my body mm -hmm. is your body. So, that's the first thing. There's nothing to be shy about. Yeah. Which is why we have a, a shower together. Yeah. As often as we can, we shower together yeah, because I'm comfortable with my body. I don't care. She can look at me. She sees me and I see her all the time. Mm -hmm. So you can shower together. These are it brings an intimacy as well. Thank it brings you. a closeness. Even if, if you weren't close in the beginning, that showering together can bring a closeness. And it makes you, you know, free. free. So you're free with your spouse. Mm -hmm. And what does that take away? That takes away anxiety. Takes yeah. away nervousness. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Takes away takes shame. away shame. Yeah. It takes away shame. Yeah. And these are the things that could actually affect sex. Yeah. Definitely. Okay? Definitely. Yeah. They actually, actually affect sex and, and things like that, mm -hmm. which obviously we'll probably go more into. Because that on its own is really big. Mm -hmm. But like I said, we're giving you the key facts and the key principles. Okay. So yeah? we, even moving on from there, just about um anxiety and stuff about like that. Another point is don't be shy to talk about sex. <coughs> don't be shy to that talk about That brings us, that's the next point, mm -hmm. you know. So you cannot be shy. Yeah. You want to talk, talk, talk. Yeah, I mean, don't be shy to talk about sex. Like, it is, like I said, the one thing that you have to do together. Yeah. Yeah? So you have to work on it together and like it or not, that's, you're going to be doing it for life. Forever. Forever. Till, the, till death do you You know, part. me, I've told her that even at, when I'm 85. <laughs> When I'm 85, and by that time, oh baby, <laughs> baby, I'm here. No, when I'm 85 and you, you'll be 84, because I'm a year older than you. You know, I don't want to imagine what you look like then, but. <laughs> I'll still be fine, ah. Uh, <laughs> ah, I'll still be fine. But yeah, so you need to talk about these things. Don't be shy. Don't be don't shy. Don't be shy to state what you want. Yeah. Don't be shy to state what you need from your partner yeah but at the same time be sensitive yeah be sensitive because so i think it, go on go on because it is a topic that is very touchy yeah so obviously sometimes sometimes there's good days sometimes there's bad days don't be shy to talk about it but obviously approach it with sensitivity it's not that yeah. you should go to your man or your a woman and say you know what you didn't do it for me last night it's That's not nice. nice. It's not nice. You understand? And that will bring friction. But now it's all it also and tension. And tension. Yeah. So but then you need to actually talk about it. Mm -hmm. Okay? To let go of this tension, to let go of this friction, mm -hmm. you know, and to let go of any um anxiety or strife or mm -hmm. whatever. Now, in talking about it, as we said, so you're not shy to talk about it. Mm -hmm. You're not shy to talk about uh, uh performance. Yeah. You're not shy to talk about frequency. Mm -hmm. You know, there's Questions about how frequent you do have sex yeah. with your spouse. So these things you need to talk about. You need it. to talk about. It. You need to actually have that conversation. We have this conversation mm -hmm. all the time, mm -hmm. believe it or not. We, we evaluate. We, we evaluate do. our sex life. And mm -hmm. she asked me, "What do you think about our sex life?" Okay. Not we, evaluate like. Okay, maybe they might be thinking we have pen and paper. No, it's not evaluate <laughs> like pen and paper. But sometimes I do ask Aya, like, "Do you think like we've improved in our sex life?" Yeah. Like, because do you remember the um okay <laughs> we said we we're gonna talk so to we said we we're gonna we're actually gonna share yeah, that with like... you we're gonna share that with you so um wait let's quickly continue to nail it okay this okay. point it cannot be over overemphasized yeah. okay so... be comfortable don't be shy to talk about it baby ah last night too this this and this and this ah did you like that no but even at the same time don't be shy to give props you know yeah don't be shy to give props. I said, that, baby, last ah, night you were... Oh, are fantastic. <laughs> you are fantastic. Yes. That's yes. it. Last night it was amazing. Because at the this end of the morning, day, that boosts confidence. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. Trust me. I don't me. care if you are, like, the, the best looking man or the, not the whatever. Yeah. It boosts confidence. If you just get a text from your friend, I mean, text from <laughs> your... A text from your... Text husband, from your spouse. From your spouse, your wife, and you're like... I'm still it makes me feel good. I'm still okay? remembering last Anytime night. Anytime she tells me things like that, you know, I feel good. Yeah. And when I tell her as well, she feels good about herself. 
you know, that's when sometimes, you know, she'll go on anyways. Let me not go into too many details. You know, she'll prepare a nice meal to say, thank you. You understand? She'll say, what can I do for you? Oh, no worry. Okay. So, <laughs> so, that's a good discussion for another that's day. Discussion you know, for appreciating day. your spouse, yeah. you know, for, for sex, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. So, you're talking about it. You're talking about how you can improve. You're talking about what you can do differently, mm -hmm. you know, because... You want to satisfy your spouse. Yeah, definitely. And you want them, want them to be happy. Yeah. You want them to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Some things you talk about, you know, they tell you. Do you understand? Some things they cannot tell you or they don't say, yeah. but you find out. Yeah. Okay? I think as women as well, sometimes we're a bit more... You're a bit more laid back. Laid back. Especially you know. since... So again, society tells you not to, as a woman. You yeah, because be you see, you, 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 forward, yeah. be too you now look like, oh, you're, 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 what? You're a hoe. Yeah. Am I allowed to say that? Even with your husband. Yeah, even with your husband, you look like, oh, you're, you're, you're a sex addict. Yeah. There's nothing wrong, okay, if a woman, you've just had sex and, you know, a woman still wants some more. Do you understand? Please, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> She can want some more, the same way the guy can want some exactly. more. Do you understand? It does not mean she did not enjoy it. In fact, what it means is she actually enjoyed it mm -hmm. and she wants more. Mm -hmm. And that's the same thing with the guy. So these things, you need to say them, okay? Because so I need to know... Be Oliver Twist? Yes. Be Oliver Twist. Do you understand? But at the end of the day, you know, there's moderation to everything. Exactly. But that's where communication is Comes key. Comes through, exactly. You talk about it all Very the time. Key. You know, exactly. almost every time, you know, we have sex, we actually talk about it. A, an hour or two after. Do you understand? It's not like we talk about it formally. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? We laugh about it. We just it. laugh about it. <laughs> Do you understand? Whether good or bad. Mm -hmm. We laugh about it. To be honest, I think that's when we just most even. And that's when we just most. And then we're free with everything. It's just all care is gone. And we're just chilling. Yes. We're just in each other's company. Yes. So, so I cannot um, over, over emphasize that. So you are one. Mm -hmm. Remember that you are one. Okay? Mm -hmm. Nothing to be to, to be ashamed, ashamed of. Ashamed of, definitely. Don't be ashamed of anything. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? At the end of the day, you're in this together. That's you're it. learning together. You're, yeah. you're growing together. Let me tell you, I've been married to her three and a half years now. I'm discovering new things. Likewise. Likewise. You discover new things. New sides of her, yeah. you know, sexually, mm -hmm. I mean. So there's some sexual things mm -hmm. that I've discovered even last week. <laughs> Do you understand? That's because we're talking about it, you know, we're open about it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, what we wanted to refer to was this. <laughs> Stop. So look at this. Yeah? Don't show it too much so they don't see it. So this is a marriage questionnaire. That we completed. Go on, say it. The marriage questionnaire that we completed when we attended a marriage class three over three years when ago. When we just got married, when basically. When we just got married, literally, we just got married. When we're very fresh in marriage. Yeah. So, so it was like our first three months or, or, or yeah. four months or so in marriage. And it asks questions. Okay. So, uh, marriage questions for husband, marriage questions for wife. Yeah. The same questions over different things in marriage. So, we're going to particularly look at the Ones about sex. Okay, about sex. What number is that? Um, where is it? Eight. Eight. So eight. Number eight. No. Oh, there's different ones for husbands and different ones for wife. No. Oh, I'm holding. No, I'll just read that one. Okay, no worries. So I'm holding her one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'll just quickly go flash to the um to the question. I'm holding his one. So this is what she filled out about um, marriage and about the sex part. So the question says, what do you think you can do to make your husband love and enjoy sex? What do you think you can do to make your husband love and enjoy What's sex? Her answer was, I don't know. Yeah, my answer was I don't know. Why was it I don't know? Because I didn't know. Like, I think I was very like fresh at that time and yeah. I just was like, it was just a very... Worry, worrying thing for me at the yeah, time. Yeah, okay. We'll talk about that as well. Right. Maybe now, or maybe later. And then the next question... Oh, you want to read my own question? <laughs> Do you want to read your own? Okay. <laughs> okay, read... Okay. okay, my question. Oh, the question. You read it now. 
So what do you think? What do you think you can do to make your wife love and enjoy sex? I also said, I don't know, maybe more freaky. So I said maybe more freaky. Now, the reason why I said that was, I felt like, okay, maybe I need to be a bit more freaky with my woman in terms of, you know, not being so gentle and loving and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, being more freaky. Do you understand? I didn't know, at this time, I didn't know. I was discovering her mm -hmm. to know, oh, what do you like? Mm -hmm. What do you not like? Okay? So at that time, I had not tried anything freaky. Or <laughs> and I was thinking, maybe I should introduce that. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Good. Now, what's the next question? It says, what is he doing wrong about sex in your marriage? So basically, what is your husband doing wrong about sex? Luckily for me, she said nothing. But you know why? Yeah, I said nothing. Yeah, I said nothing. But I, I feel like sometimes women, we feel like sex should just be handled by men. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's up to you. What what do I what can I honestly say about sex? Mm. Do you get what I mean? So I think that's what I thought at the time. But that's not the case. That's not the case. It's not the case at all. That's not the case. Um Okay. What was my one there? So what do you think she's do what is she doing wrong about sex in your marriage? Um confused sometimes. Okay. So this is my one, by the way. So, I, so I wrote that she was confused sometimes. Mm. And bear in mind, let's even say what happened. So basically, when we filled out this questionnaires, we exchanged the questionnaires. Yeah, so, so we really. saw the answers and we discussed it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, in terms of confused, um, like I said, when I say confused, she just felt like, oh, I don't know what, what to do. do. I do? <laughs> Where do I go? You know. But I can assure you that's not the case now. That Thank has you. changed. That, 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 that has changed. <laughs> hey! <laughs> that has changed. So, that has right. changed. Glory be to God. Ah. Okay? So, you know, she was a bit confused. Oh, I don't know what to do. Blah, 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 blah. But obviously, we worked together. Yeah. Definitely. We had the conversation. We talked about it. Okay? And I feel like here as well, even though we were married, I feel like I was still a bit shy. Yeah. I was still very mm -hmm. much shy. Yeah. But like And that's why I, I think she was confused. Yeah. Because she was just shy. Do you understand? Which is which is understandable. Yeah. You know, you're not gonna discover everything in your first year. Yeah. You're not gonna Definitely. do it in your second year. You're not gonna learn everything in your fifth year, you know. Or or in your tenth year. Mm -hmm. So it's a long journey. This was three years this ago. Three. And we actually looked at it the other day. And we looked at it like the two like last month mm -hmm. or, or two months ago and we just actually reviewed it again mm -hmm. to see have the answers changed? Yeah, okay. Exactly. Have the answers changed? Things have changed. Things have moved on. Mm -hmm. Have these answers an answers changed? You know, and we you, we sort of talked about it again. Yeah. So talk about it. Talk about it. Talk about it. Yeah. Okay. So anybody can initiate sex at any time. So going back to what I said about don't just think that it's the man. It's the yeah. man's job to handle sex. If you want it, go get it, girl. First of all, the man is your property. He's your. Uh, so you can drag, drag his trousers and say, come, <laughs> my friend, come. Well, don't rip him. Don't rip him. Don't, don't rip like she rips me. <laughs> if he stop. <laughs> I'm just joking, by the way. She doesn't rip me. <laughs> but yeah, so be free. You can initiate it. Mm -hmm. And it's part of having the conversation. I remember there was a time, you know, she was not initiating enough. And I said, baby, initiate as well. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And now, in fact, she is fully initiated. Do you understand? She has, Does it look like someone that needs to be initiated? Do you understand? <laughs> she, she, she's... Anyways, let me know who said yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't so, yeah. Much. So remember that. You, you're going into marriage. You're in marriage. Mm -hmm. You know. And the man is not a mind reader. Women, sometimes yeah. we think that, you know, if we just, you know, lay beside him, who we'll just, you know. We just, exactly. There's some times, yeah, that you want your man to touch you. Yeah. Okay. And the man does not necessarily want to do it at that time. Okay. But because you don't want to initiate. You're, You're just there, hoping, hold, that hoping we touch and you praying. I'm praying. <laughs> yes, and she used to do it before. And then, then she would tell me that she was. Then she now get vexed. Like, oh, I didn't even touch her last night. And I'm like, bro, <laughs> if you wanted to touch you, let me know, man. <laughs> I'll touch you. Do you understand? So don't be shy to initiate. Don't be shy. Sometimes it's the guys as well. You know, the guys don't want to initiate. Mm -hmm. You know, because we do have shy guys when it comes to these things. But it still goes down to the point of. Don't be shy. Don't be Talk shy. about it. This is your best friend. Like, you can tell your best friend anything. So, keep the communication going and that, that, that will make things much easier. Yeah. And lastly, I think it should be lastly. Finally. Finally. Finally, because we want to quickly wrap this up. Mm -hmm. Okay? Don't the be selfish. Don't be selfish. 
I'll say it again. When we say don't selfish, selfish. Do you know what I just realized now? When we say selfish, it can be interpreted in two from from two perspectives. How? Okay, so don't be selfish in terms of you know be a cheerful giver. <laughs> we are come and take. Come, be, come, come, come and take. Be a cheerful giver, mm -hmm. and the second one is what? Think about your partner. Yeah. So when when you're when you're 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 you're, you're thinking of, thinking about sex, you're thinking about I want to satisfy my partner. Mm -hmm. I don't want to satisfy myself. Or, I don't want my. I want to satisfy my partner, not my partner should come and satisfy me. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So I'm thinking about her. You know, it's her happiness. Mm -hmm. It's her satisfaction. I'm thinking about. And vice versa. Mm -hmm. So she's also thinking about my satisfaction. Mm -hmm. You cannot be selfish because if you are selfish, it will not work. It will not work. I can tell you that for free. It will not work. And it will not be enjoyable. You yes. might think you might think it's enjoyable, but when you compare it to the time when you're actually both pleasing each other and both happy, mm -hmm. there's a big difference. Very big difference. There's a very big difference. Very big difference. So hopefully you've picked one or two things because mm -hmm. we want to wrap this up yeah. now. But like I said. It's going to be a series. We're going to talk We've about sex. Five. You need to have sex. In marriage. Before you make baby, it's sex that you have. Okay? No, so you don't mean it, baby. <laughs> Stop. So it's not a taboo to have sex. Okay? It's not a taboo to have sex. So you're about to get married. You're, you're already in marriage. Remember, I want to enjoy sex. And it's I never too late to enjoy good sex. Never. Ever. Ever. Never. So even if you think that, you know what, it's like, it's over between my partner, my, yes. my husband and I, or my wife and I, sexually, that never get it twisted. Never it's get never, it twisted. It's never too late. You can you can still enjoy. You know, at any age. At any age. Age is not a restriction. Age is not a restriction. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we're talking too we're much. Talking too much. I'm going to close this up now, or we are going to close this up now. You guys should let us know your thoughts. Let yeah, us know if you want to hear think. more about this. We have a lot to share with you about so sex. I'm okay. even holding myself back. Like that's why. That's why. Yeah. I'm so we're also trying to hold back because we don't want to divulge or give out too mm. much information and then you know yeah so you're the audience but we're gonna keep it you know to the to a moderate level yeah. we don't want to say any any nasty it's not things. gonna be x-rated you know just not x-rated exactly mm -hmm. everyone is sex education mm -hmm. it's simply sex education so let's educate ourselves okay yeah hopefully you enjoyed this one leave a comment like share subscribe, subscribe. to up and die io up yeah. and io i'm now i'm saying up here as well so it's <laughs> <laughs> to Ophir and Ayo Davies, okay? Thank you for your love. Thank, Thank you, for you your guys support. so much. And we'll uh, see you soon. We'll see you soon.